I want a sandwich. Now. Oh, sandwich wench. Yo, wench. Sandwich. Now. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. Sandwich. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all well. We're back. We're doing research. Yes, well, research. It's a charitable term, is it not? Uh, we're going to be looking at some of our daintiest of queens' works for the month of February. Because, well, she does better than you. Uh, but also because it's hilarious to go through what she said she'd do in January and see how well she's done in February when you realise she's not. No, she, she she's pretty much broken every New Year's resolution by now. Um, for example, and we'll I'll go straight here anyway. Um, oh no, that's socks. Say hello to my hamster. Well, former hamster. I miss I miss her. No, here. This is uploads, right? So she first upload technically is this one here, but we're going to show this first anyway. But this one, an honest look into what I ate today at five hundred pounds. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine videos in a month of 29 days, where she said in January she would release one video every other day. Yes. Uh, hello, Persephone Creek. Hello, Juniper MJ Verity. Hello, Willow Winter. Hello, Arana975. Hello, Mark. Yes, yeah, Socks is awesome, right? She's the cutest. She was the bestest of hammy hamsters. She was the dorkable. Um, don't forget to smash the like, by the way. And so she's she instead of uploading once every other day, like she said she would, she hasn't. Also, the video length went from this like double digit number around how long my videos are down to six minutes, seven minutes, nine minutes. By the way, I didn't get any ads for these two when I put them on. Instantly, I got ads on this one straight away. Yeah, the, oh, hang on, I'm not clicking. There you go, this first one, yeah? The second and third, I didn't get any ads on them. So I don't know if she got hit by demonetization or something, but yeah, that. Um, we do also have, if you're interested, um, we have the Discord where I keep all my sources. Um, I'll get rid of the um, members. You don't need to hide that. You don't need that to be visible. But it starts with just an Alex, Alex, Alex is shook picture derived from the uh, TikTok of Amber, uh, which of course we do need to look into at relevant passages. When, I'm not. Oh, Discord isn't, was it showing? Was it even showing then? Let me go check. Uh, ALR. Me, I, I'm just going to check because I know what happens here. Yeah, it's because I tabbed out, didn't I? I'll drag it over to the other screen. Yeah, basically this Alex is uh, yeah Amber's Twitter TikTok. We do need to look at it, but to be honest, I don't know why she posts over there because her income needs to be on YouTube, not TikTok, and she makes sod all on YouTube right now. Yep. Uh, so let's close that, pull that up, shut the Discord. Well, not shut it down, but close it a little. Yes. Um, hello, Mercury. Hope you're well. Uh, never stick to a plan. That is true, actually. Uh, which is why I find it hilarious. Um, and these videos being so short means we can go through them fully and respond to them, uh, which is hilarious. Because after this, she does like a serious video and then the video length goes up and then dips again and then length goes up again and then dips again. Like, bish. Come on. <laughs> stop stop with this nonsense. Do you have any community tabs? I should do one through Usko. Uh, don't have Instagram this week. I'm posting on here to give you more of an opportunity to be included. Well, she gets likes on it at least, but she's still got ratioed in the comments here by one. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. I like that after all these years, she still hasn't updated her picture to an accurate representation of her or something that could be less vertically taken. At least she does that on purpose to make herself feel slimmer. Um, now, this first video, this one here, uh, rather amusingly, 
Um, first of all, 4.2k downvotes, not even a thousand upvotes. The top comment, well, the one that shows, she needs to stop loving herself and start disciplining herself. I agree. If you have no control over your eating habits, but you have time to enjoy yourself so you're not in control of yourself, you need, and at your size, you need more control first. Because then when you enjoy yourself, it doesn't hurt you as much. And at your age, Amber, you're getting to a stage now where no, no, no. And you, she is emotionally immature, 100%. Um, but the actual top comment here is, you stopped the Ozempic because it had caused issues with your gallstones. Have we forgotten about that? Or was it another another la? So I think she stopped also because it was expensive and because she wasn't making as much money as she used to. So I think that's another important aspect of this that needs to be acknowledged. But rather amusingly, rather than watching all this, Goral World Garden recapped the entire sodding video in a series... <sighs> In the rest, in like the, the the whole thing, that's impressive. I'm still annoyed that she has great hair, by the way. I know too many people who don't have hair that good, and they live a lot better than she does. <clears throat> but yeah, this tickled me. Um, we're gonna we're not gonna look at that though. Of course, we need to um, Vicky turn around. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll I'll eat the biscuits. Creak, 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 creak. Yes. Sorry, I'm I'm leaning forward, and my chair likes to creak now. Although it wasn't before the stream. Okay. Let's make sure the volume's right up. Move the tablet because I can't see the sodding volume. There it is. Okay, we have a clear shot. Uh, are you ready, guys? Uh, are you are you strapped in for this absolutely stellar six minute fifty five video, which had one ad already before I even started? Oh, welcome to a new video, you guys. So today is way in Wednesday. I mean, wait, 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 wait. You, you. Oh, every day is way in Wednesday, girl. So hello, hello. She. That's why there's Alex's shook clip. You watch him, don't didn't you dunk on Alex like saying you don't watch reactors? So I figured why not do like a Wednesday weigh in? I know those are really enjoyed on my channel because when I do just like my weigh-ins and my vlogs, they're I not really they're not weigh-ins that are enjoyed. Um they're not enjoyed at all because we don't see you weigh in. We hear you claim you're weighing in. That's all we have. We do not see you get onto the scales. We don't see the safety bars that you need to hold on to to make sure you don't fall off them. We don't hear the uh, forklift make its necessary. I'm not going to finish that joke. Talk much about my weight or how I'm feeling, or which you were supposed to because you said you were going to this year. I guess that resolution's already gone. Which look like clowns. Anything like that because my vlogs are so focused on just like other things. No, they're not. No, your vlogs are more all over the place than I am away from the keyboard. You are surprisingly um, useless in your vlogs because you tell us things you've done and show us nothing of what you're doing. You just speak about these things as if it's happened already. So we get nothing from you. And yeah, the chair doesn't stop. I'm trying desperately not to move, and uh, it's just going, no, I want to creak now, I want to creak now. Let me let me creak. It's probably because I genuinely am leaning forward. She does look a bit high. Um, I do agree. Um, but yeah, Amber, you've never committed to doing anything in these videos of late. In the past, when you had Neki, Destiny, um, hell, even some of the YP stuff, you were doing stuff. You actually did things. Now, though, you're doing... I mean, non-tent's been going on for a while, uh, and it was going on during YP era. But you're doing nothing. You do not You do three minutes for one day, and then you move to the next day. I mean, how crap is that? This is a seven-minute video, not even that. So when I actually do, like, a dedicated weigh-in video, I know people enjoy those because they like to watch them. So my No, they don't enjoy it. They just want to see how tragic it is. My hair's super frizzy today. Sorry. Change of topic. Because I did not straighten my hair. So this is what it looks like when it is not straight. Super frizzy. Not my favorite. My hair is... Fam, your hair's still straight. Shut up. Change texture. That's just something that, like, I kind of struggle with because my hair used to be beautiful. And I may have forgotten, Persephone. I do apologize. I might... Actually, no, no, no. I did see it. Yeah, because I remember going to check it. I... I have to go reread it. I do apologize. Uh, creaking is not her knees. It could be the not knees. Not beautiful when I make it beautiful. AKA straighten it or put waves in it. Creaky. So it's just naturally not beautiful <clears throat> anymore. But I didn't feel like putting heat in it. Anyways, I'm rambling. So when I do my weigh-ins, I do like to answer some of your guys' questions just so I have topics to talk about or really topics that you guys are curious. No, you don't. You do the weigh-in and you put it in the middle of a video at a random point. It then becomes the most viewed part of the video, which is where everyone then goes to go and see how much you've put on. About. So I picked three questions. Let's get into it. So the first one is, do you feel insecure since that photo was taken of you in public? So. Oh, this cringe. Okay, so for those who don't know, she was at the laundromat. Yeah. At first, she fobbed it off and said it was fine. So I'm glad I got this question because before I even answer that question, I found out about the photo the night 
that I was at the laundromat. But then the next day, I found out that the person actually took a video of me. So just like when I said I was- Hey, Joker. Hi, weekend, Leona. I would have totally been okay with like a real quick video, but I'm not okay with what I actually saw. I mean, it's not the most flattering angle to see how flat that ass is. Blame. So what you guys are currently looking at <clears throat> is someone walking insanely close to me, like an inch away from me. I mean, you're in a laundromat. What do you expect? Filming my butt. I I mean, the camera's pointing down. I think it's just to confirm that that fat ass was yours. I feel very unsafe when I see that. So take me out. I mean, I would too, because that cushion doesn't really have much protection anymore. It's been worn in so much. I would probably suggest losing some weight and getting some surgery to fix it. For the picture, take me out of the situation. Uh, hello, maybe I... If you po po saw someone filming someone's butt in public... I do agree with that, Persephone, as well. Um, I do agree. It's highly inappropriate. Sadly, and I'm not going to say, I'm not going to justify it. This is the consequence of this life. It really is. I'm not trying to justify it in the slightest. Of course not. Um, but Amber did initially fob this all off as fine. Uh, hello, Ola. Hope you're well. Now, I'm not going to bother with the rest of this video because it's not the first of the month. We're going to go here. An honest look into what I ate today at £500. Nearly 5k dislikes. They're like, oh, I didn't get it over. Never mind. I was hoping I would be all right. I thought I'd be special. Uh, nah. Faster. Faster. Right. Oh, comments. Let's go here first. A date. Sorry, a day consisting of only takeout, four diet beverages, and zero water is rated as 7.5 out of 10 healthy. This really shows where her mindset is. Okay. Uh, hello, Chantel's Unflicked Bean. Hello, Monster Dumpling. Hope you're well. Just a thing. If you eat, if you drink diet beverages, first of all, that's not healthy in the slightest. Don't try me. Oh, but it's Pepsi Max or something. Shut up. Drink water, you skank. Um, if you only eat takeout, it's not healthy either. It's cheap, easy calories, and it's a it's a hack. You, Amber, had the money at one point to do it all yourself anyway. So, do it. Welcome to a new video. So, today is a what I eat today video. I'm going to show you absolutely everything I eat, everything I drink, uh -huh. all that good good. I'm not counting calories, I'm not counting carbs. X. I'm simply just eating less than I normally would to lose weight. So, you guys did see me wearing this. Oh, you switched this already. Okay, because you were calorie counting in January. In my weigh-in video because I'm filming both of those videos on the same day. Because I'm going to be busy the next few days, actually the next like week or so, and I'm not going to have time to like film this. But anyways, mm -hmm. let's get into it. Really quick disclaimer, if you don't want to see me eat, you don't like it, it makes you uncomfy, this is a warning. You're about to see that. Okay, so the first thing I'm having today is this Gatorade Zero. It's in Glacier Freeze, which is one of my favorites. Um, I've been awake for a couple hours now, and I'm not feeling uh -huh. hungry, I'm just feeling thirsty, so... I don't care for these drinks at all. I still think um, they're crap, but I'm always going to hold that view. So good. Okay, guys, so I got some Mediterranean food. This is rice with some chicken. So I remember covering this, and in some of these meals she gets, she's never had them before half the time. It's like she's just gone with a lottery and just picked a random meal and then claims she doesn't, um, doesn't like, eat at all. That's like a lie. We all know that to be true. And I thought it was going to be cubes of chicken, but it's like this big chunk so we'll see what i think of that and then i got to choose between super salad and i chose greek salad of course love me a salad and uh, i have healthy now healthy that's like really bad habit where i need something sweet healthy's coming by the way I eat. so i got this red velvet thing do i need i don't know what the red velvet thing is but i will admit i try it um uh, and um uh so it's cold brew tea um you know, add honey to it oh honey's awesome isn't it her hair looks dull and frizzy. Growl. I, yeah, fam, hair maintenance is important to me. Eat it? No. Am I going to have some of it? Yes. So the chicken are. is literally just falling off the bone. So I think that's a good sign. Let's do a taste test. <coughs> Sorry. Food? Dry cough. I think so. Do I want it a little bit more dry? Yes. I don't care for... Okay, so we might disagree here. If you prefer dry chicken, press one. If you like your chicken moderately moist press two if you like your chicken to be soaking sopping soggy wet get out of my chat <laughs> hi rainy days hope you're well salad oh yeah so we're getting to see what she eats but we're only seeing one bite because we all know really she's gonna sit down and eat the rest that salad slaps there's like no oh, slapped, attractive man. way to eat a salad i am having a dr pepper zero sugar chicken cough with these drinks man that is not you can do one with that. Very, right? honestly. With my food. I, I remember, okay, so I'm going to tell a little story. 
when I was a kid, um, grew up in the 90s, and my, for Christmas, my parents would do a roast dinner for Christmas Day. Of course you do. We still do it. Um, hello, Dan. Hello, Tails Dolls. Um, and the turkey would always be super dry because in that time, we didn't know how to make it better, and also we were too poor to improve upon it. I was forced to eat this incredibly dry meat, and it was horrible. It was pain. Like, I would never... It has to be slightly... Oh, my... Because I can't be asked with it. Hello, Chavy Quacker. You like cherry soda? I don't drink soda at all, so um, I, I really don't go near this stuff. Uh, but I don't care for this zero-sugar nonsense. Currently, this is my favorite drink. You sure? Because it was the um, ball things a while back. She's tasting. I'm actually standing on my island to eat. I do this a lot. I don't have a dining room table, but I don't really want one or need one. I think standing up is good for you. For one. Yeah. At all. But I just noticed that, like, when I stand and eat, I pay more. Hang on. How are we watching you eat when you're not? Like, bitch, what's this? For attention to my all I see is your, 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 your. Your, your table cover for a dress and your, your, your hair, which looks incredibly dry. My food? Like your chicken. Versus if like I am sitting down watching YouTube or something. Okay, you all. So I am pretty freaking full. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I do want to try this with you guys though. I don't even want to like ruin it. It looks so good. It's a Wait. mousse, yeah? Oh, this isn't red velvet. Okay, they didn't have the red velvet, I guess, which is what I wanted. So they gave me this instead. That's fine. I have no idea what it is, but let's go. If anyone knows what that is, tell me. Uh, I didn't want to say that because I don't want to be accused of misogyny, Yona. But I'm glad you said it instead. Um, I will admit the Gatorade equivalent here was helpful as it was the only thing I could... Um... Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. To be fair, context here maybe is very important though, isn't it? Um, what? <laughs> Your body does digest and absorb fake sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Just to think. Is what is, if anyone knows what that pudding is, it let me know. It kind of tastes like a chocolate pie. Because I want to know what it is. No, I have such a bad sweet tooth. I just ate three-fourths of this. But... Yeah, three-quarters, not three-fourths. Um, that I'm not surprised you ate as much as you did, because we know you're going to eat that the moment the camera goes away. It was good. Now I'll save the rest for later. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, so it has been hours since I last talked to you. It you is time walk. to eat. So I'm hoping this still tastes good. Bitch, we both know this is like five minutes. Chocolate mousse bum. Oh, was it? Oh, fair enough. I need to look that up, because that looks, that looks nice. I would happen... By the way, I, I, must, I have a very, very well-known sweet tooth. I will happily eat that, provided she hasn't touched it or licked it. Anything near it, in fact. It's not as fresh right now because it has been... Although I guess when it's full shape, it did look like a moon. Orbit is inevitable. Time. My lipstick is, like, all smeared. Sorry about that. She still tastes good. Okay, so next thing I'm going to have is a Sprite Zero Sugar. Oh, another drink. Great. I see we're really doing well on the food. I actually just ordered something to eat, so I'll show you uh -huh. guys that. When it gets here, it's probably going to be my last meal. A little bit uh -huh. of action. Oh, God. The TikTok thing. There's a thing you can do with a Sharpie. You run the back end of it across the um, end where, they, where it opens, and you don't have to pull the ring pull to open it. It just pops naturally. <clears throat> Crap. Uh, has she declared you start? Great okay, so I Honestly, ramen, I have no idea. But it's like a ramen with no broth. It's like a carbonara spicy chicken ramen. I've had it a couple So it's an American dish then. An absolute abomination and amalgamation of other things. Um, times, yeah. And it's honestly so it's very oh, no. spicy. But like in a good way because I love spice. I wish there was a way where I can show uh, the sodas. Also, I don't know why, MJ. I, I really don't. don't. Angle right now. So currently just stirring it up. It just looks like noodles. A, a very large portion, I might add, but still noodles. This is also another food that you just can't look pretty well eating it. Y'all ain't gonna fib. I could have ate this whole thing. I could totally eat the rest of this, but I'm actively choosing not to because I know that I shouldn't. All right, so uh -huh. I'm coming. Anyone want to press X to doubt here? Is I'm just gonna sip my uh, stout while we do this. That was a loud swallow. Okay, guys, so that is Delicious. everything that I'm going to be having today. I'm done with my eating. If I do drink something else, it'll definitely probably be one of these or like a Sprite Zero. But what I thought well, it would be This segment's called Gatorade Zero. Oh, I've done. Just no, we're done with you. Shut up, you liar. Let's go to the next video. Living my best life a week with friends, palm reading, and Michael's Hole. What's Michael's? Okay. Uh, favorite soda, ginger. Oh, ginger beer. There's nothing wrong with ginger beer. I used to love that with uh, a shot of Jack Daniels. Um, I thought it was the best way to drink, the only way to drink Jack Daniels, to be fair. Uh, so, <coughs> sorry. Me and my multiple personalities at 3 a.m. Top comment. That's a good way of setting this up. The next one, you know vlogging doesn't really work when you refuse to show your life. 
the side characters are what made your videos really enjoyable back in the day. And this is correct. This is a complaint I've had about her non-tent era. No, she's not featuring anyone and she's not doing anything. So I don't really get it. And yes, she is carb heavy in her, in her content, in her consumption. And she's trying to say, oh, but I've reduced my calories. Like, bitch, the carbs are killing you. Like, reduce the carbs. Don't go keto. You don't need to go keto. Just reduce the carbs. To a new vlog. So we are starting this vlog with a Michaels haul. Okay. What the fuck is Michaels? Are you, uh, did you buy some Michael B. Petty match? So I finished my Pokemon Diamond painting. I enjoyed it. So I wanted to get another one. I'll show you guys it uh, here in a little bit. So oh, I got this craft. super cute one. Oh, it's no, a bunch Gemma. Of fruit. So I got this from Michaels. They had so many different diamond paintings there. Okay, diamond paintings for the Brits is gem art. We call it that over here. Um, I'm sure we call it diamond paintings as well, but seriously, the, the commoner just calls it gem art. I'm correct, even sugar substitutes will spike. They do. Uh, Grey pill, they 100% do. They spike your blood sugar. Um, you're not incorrect in the slightest. It's basic or basic basic biochemistry, to be honest. Um, it's it's not one of those things where if you're diabetic, you really want to avoid all that crap because it will spike your sugar level and it won't benefit you in the slightest. Hello, Hector. Hope you're well. And she may need keto, but she won't commit to it. She never does. I usually only ever got mine from Amazon. I've only bought a few in my life. And then I saw... Fam, I saw you do all those jam arts. You were hoarding them. I saw this journal and I just thought it was oh, so oh, no. adorable. Like, that's totally my aesthetic. Everyone's just gonna start journaling again. You might see it on Wattpad. I just love everything about that. I got a thing of uh, mini M&Ms. <clears throat> don't come from Yeah, you'll be snorting that like it was paracetamol. Okay, they were just like staring, staring me in the face. Yeah, I, I'd say the same with chocolate, but I'm about 400, 300 and something pounds lighter than you. Hang on, you're 5 what? 5'10? Five, Hang on. I'm 315 lighter. Is that 195? I can't count. I'm getting really bad. I'm getting old. Legos. So when they're finished, I need somewhere to put them. So I just got this base. Isn't that cute? So here are my completed Lego roses in baby's breath in my vase. So pretty. So I actually just have it on my island in my kitchen because I feel like. Yeah, that looks nice. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. By the way, I know I could dunk on her for many things, but to be honest, yeah, that I'm not going to dunk on Lego like that. I've got a freaking Lego bonsai tree in my room. Like I needed something right here. So I love that. Here is my completed I do like that. Diamond painting of the Pokemon. This was so much fun. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Okay, Sorry. so that last clip you saw. Sodding ads. Let me mute it. No, nice. oh, Hello, God guys. damn it. To oh. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, okay, we can skip ahead. Okay, sorry about that. I hit my um, my thumb twitch. Oh, hang on, Amber's gone out for a change. Oh, this is interesting. We have a sip of my uh, drink here. Mmm. Delightful, as you were, Amber. Come on, dainty. There's no way you fit down that aisle. Cheap tat rings. Just a question for those who eat it. Um, is um, is the urge uh, is gelato any good? Because I've never had it. Is there hydrate on YouTube's? No, you just tell me and I will. Um, just type it in the chat. I do have a drink, um, a stout winter cake flavor stout. Um, but yeah, the bonsai tree. I got it for Christmas a few years ago, and was it Christmas or my birthday? Uh, I put the pink leaves on it with the frogs, uh, and it sits on top of a shelf in my room because uh, it's the only one I actually like. So thought, yeah, I don't really do Lego, but I'll keep that. It looks nice. <laughs> Okay, right. So there were people who said this is clearly fake and like set up. I love you. Oh my god. I'm actually filming right now. Oh my gosh, how are you? I'm alright, I love your videos. Come on, this this feels set up. I sorry, I dreamt. I will. Good to see you. Hope you have a good day. It's amazing, it's thicker and creamier than regular ice cream. Go figure you'd like something thick in your mouth. Of course, of course. Ciao. Not to love some gambling. I'm not, but I'm not going to dunk on this because it's just her actually getting out for a change. But no people around at least. <laughs> Let's see what we win, folks. I almost got 500 earlier. Oh, this is exciting. Oh. 100! I just want 100 tickets, bitch! I don't know what any of that means. Uh, do you mean the gelatin as in American name? No, gelato. It's something else. 
uh, and not that crap you get around pork pies. I hate that jelly around pork pies. It apparently is really popular. People love that jelly. The only people I know that like that jelly are cats. <laughs> <laughs> Am I just a quick question here? Um, and that's cool, Grey Pill. That actually is really cool. Um, do you, does anyone think Amber went with anyone, or do you think she sat there alone and she's just doing reactions to make it look like she's out and about doing things, just to um, change the minds of those who might think she's faking it? Bear in mind here, this video is nine minutes long. It's not the longest. He said strip club. Y'all, look at this pretty art. Ah, the gambling art arc. Yes, I'm okay with this. This is funny. Amber's been drinking a lot of stuff today. Currently at a hot pot place for the first time. I'm so excited. What's a hot pot? That's her appetizer. Where's the rest of the food? Yeah, I'm with you on that, Ola. Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover right now because we're all singing happy birthday, but I just want to say personally, happy birthday, mom. Happy 55th, girly pop. Hell yeah. 55? Your mom only... Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm going to judge. I just got a cute little dinosaur at Dave & Buster's because we ended up coming back here today. Amber's been showing us a lot of her drinks today. I... See, I don't either, Jamie, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not too convinced, you know? I'm never too certain. But we've been seeing a lot of drinks. I don't know what any of them are. They could be sangria. I don't know. But I, I'm not familiar with the food. I'm not going to judge it, by the way. I, that's why I haven't said anything about it, because I don't know anything about these foods. All the drinks that matter. I'm just curious why we have to see each drink in turn. Um, why that's so important. Although it does, if they're alcohol-based, make her seem like she has a, a very social drinking problem. That looks nice. Yeah. Okay, it looked nice, and then I saw where the jelly babies went. Gummy bears. That is a fat geode. Not gonna lie, those look nice. I, I'd like to buy one and use it as a crown. Put it on someone's head when I consider them a heretic and twist it, knowing it will hurt them. I wouldn't be surprised if she was left at each place, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. The geodes are nice, but if Amber got into geodes as a collection thing, a flat would just be full of them, and that's just a massive waste of money. I have a couple geodes with my um, terrariums. They're kind of nice, yeah. Oh, no. So now that you're caught up, my friends have officially left, so I'm very sad. Like, I literally already miss them so much. They're already planning to come back in May, so I'm super excited. Those don't know she had a palm mode. They're even like, oh my god, we should like move here. So, I don't know boo boos, but I've just had so much fun. I just don't even like have the words to express it. I just genuinely needed this. And I don't know, now I just feel like rejuvenated. But we didn't really get to see any of it, Amber. This is a nine minute video, and we really didn't see anything beyond your food, your drinks, and some tat. Uh, that was it. Yeah, I, I, I don't really see the point, Amber. Like, magazines, crystals. Not really. They were sent to me. Um, I also got some at a zoo uh, that you have to crack open yourself, and I haven't cracked them open because my nieces are stupid and think they're diamonds inside, and I'm like, if you do that, it's just shattered glass. But they don't listen to me because even though Uncle's right, they won't listen to me. Right. So next on the list, this conversation gets really serious and dark. Way in included. Oh, a lengthy video. What my Valentine's got for me? We're definitely gonna open that one. Uh, and I think let's find uh, what my crush. Oh, she's got a crush. Okay, so we're gonna go with these three videos. We're gonna get off my screen. Yeah, add. Oh, I've got forty viewers. Hello, forty people. Didn't know I'd have this many people watching. Hello, rat beef sandwich. Hope you're well. If I missed anyone, do say hi. Um, right. So the top comment: Amber being five hundred plus pounds is an emergency. Sorry. <clears throat> Amber being 500 pounds is an emergency. Please treat it like an emergency. Okay. So, that's an important comment. Uh, quote, I never give up. That is literally the only, the only thing you do. 
Please try food rehab facility where you have to give up control to professionals. That's the problem. For the Amber to do that, she'd have to give up her vlogging as well. Because that's one of the most toxic parts of her life. But she won't. Because she wants to be in control of everything. Which is why she doesn't have a new wipey yet. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So it is a Wednesday weigh-in. I'm honestly Hi. not sure how many more Wednesday weigh-ins we're going to be doing. I'm just all over the place when it comes to my YouTube schedule. I keep changing. That's because your New Year's resolution said every other day and you broke it within the first month. Uh, three weeks in, I believe, to be exact. And your weigh-in Wednesday was meant to be daily. Yep. Hi, Bri. Hi, Crystal. Hope you're well. How goes the Plague Doctor business? Changing it. It's literally only been like a month and a week of 2024 and I've already changed my schedule like three times. I need to just like slow down, just like stick uh -huh. to something. But right now I just don't know. I don't know what's good. Oh, you like Cap? You like? I'm glad I'm you like Cap. But regardless, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be yes. uploading. I'm just not sure. Oh, you weren't like, ready for the voice. On Friday, though. Uh, for those who don't know, I can do that whenever I want. I learned it from my then five-year-old nephew who could do it. Uh, and I sort of emulated him and realized I could do it differently. Uh, Without breaking my vocal cords. Uh, which has um, helped me over the years. Uh, so I don't wear it out. Oh, another what I ate today video because I do enjoy filming those. I know you guys. Of course you do. Like to see a little bit. We can get the mukbangs. You may as well at that point. At least then you're guaranteed views. Of what I eat, I know that's like very highly requested. Like so fam. that is still going to be a thing. If you but just bring back the mukbangs, you'd be no better idea. off. So from my last Hello, video, I have a little update. As you guys know, someone in public took a photo of me. Ah, uh, here we go. Time for the. Oh, hello. There's the. There's the. There's the screenshot. Here's a thumbnail, everyone. If you need it, uh, let me just get rid of the. Um, for those who want to get it. That, that, there you go. You got a screenshot, take that. I'm putting it back. Give me your money. There we go. I'm going to get that as a screenshot myself. Nice. Right. Uh, pull that up. Back in. Without me knowing, and then took a really creepy, weird video. She didn't. <laughs> I got paused again. Video of me, of my butt, like literally an inch away from me. I didn't care about the photo, but the video did give me the creeps, and I know a lot of you um, agree with that. They Just walked. Like... I mean, I agree it's a bit creepy, but you're now about to react differently imagine that, that happening to like your daughter or your mom or something like that i feel like maybe taking me out of the picture and like thinking of it happening to someone that like you know that you care about then i feel like maybe you can see it a little bit more from my point of view but the update is um the person who took the photo of me is actually a girl who i actually was talking to at the laundromat which i find to be even more like weird and creepy because it just goes oh. to show like how fake people can be because like she seemed pretty chill um she sat next to me for a little bit we were both waiting for our stuff and we had a few yeah so every time i tab out uh, and i click on other things see i clicked on obs then so I pull up the chat and tab back in. There you go. I click on other screens and socks. The image gets pulled up. I'm glad it's socks and nothing else really, because that could have been horrendous. But socks is adorable. So get a look. That is the most adorable hamster you'll ever see. And the friendliest. She was amazing. Right. Back here. Pull that up. There you go. go, go. I didn't like talk much to her, but I'm very much used to like being in public and like strangers talking to me. And I am very friendly. Oh, Link. no. You get socks. There you go. You, you get socks while I deal with this ad. I suffer this ad for you. Right. The ad is over. Bring back the bra ra 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 Pull up the chat. There you I go. I might be like an aqua taco myself, but Husband of the I am friendly might be that, yeah. even if I do feel shy or like Absolutely nervous right, in the please. moment. Absolutely. Like I'm not standoffish or anything like that. So yeah, I did correspond with this person. <clears> and it's just and, weird um, to know that like the whole Great Hold, I miss those days a bit too, to be honest. Um I know that it does, in my content, create uh, limitations in what I can do. But I do enjoy that kind of content. Uh, and there are still some that do, so I will continue doing it. Although, to be fair, I get lots of views on her, so I'm not going to complain. She knew who I was, and she knew that she was going Sips to take it for me, or that stout. she already did. But the video was actually taken by her husband, which again... Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. So it was taken by her husband? But a girl you were talking... Hmm. Interesting, Amber. And um, this is in this is a real swerve. It's not safe out here for women. Like, I get it. It's not safe out here for anybody. Like, anyone can be a creep. Anyone can be unsafe. I totally get that. But in this situation, like, I feel like I am a woman who is unsafe. And, like, a man is literally getting super close to me and taking a video of my butt to show... Wait, 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 wait. The husband is the one that did the video and the picture. But... Do you not... Hmm... I mean, I agree it's still creepy, but hang on. Hold up. You, you're, you're talking... Huh? I... Oh, I've got a good pause face here, fam. This is a good pause face. There's, a, there's That looks like it's photoshopped as well. That hole. It looks photoshopped. 
online. A really awkward taco phrase. I'm going to like stand yeah. by that. I will forever stand by that. Lock out so, the day on I think we were done with this saga though. For those of you who like stuck up for me and you guys were spreading awareness around the situation, like this is not okay. I appreciate you guys very much. So thank you. So now I'm going to answer three of your guys' questions. The first one is, what do you say to the rumors that the weigh-ins are fake? I just think that's silly. I think they're fake. 100% I think they're fake. First of all, we don't see you weigh in. So you can't tell us that anything but that because it, you're using an appeal to authority fa fallacy as a justification for you not showing us you getting on the scales. I can understand it if you're completely butt naked when you're weighing in. Yeah? Thanks for being here, Mark. We really appreciate it. Smash like on the way out. Could have posted it was a couple involved in the laundry. Oh, really? I didn't know that. But yeah, the, um, the, the, the weigh in thing I think is fake. Sorry, Amber, but I believe that. <clears throat> Sorry. I've always believed that because you are not doing anything to prove you are doing them. This is something that's always been going on on my channel where people think I fake my weigh-ins because people think that I weigh more than I actually say that I do, which let's be realistic here. There are a few people I think are lying about the weigh weight. I don't think you're one of them. I just don't think you're uh, doing the weigh-ins. I think the definitive liar about her weight is Chantel. Scientifically, that would be impossible because for someone my size- You're not a scientist, don't try me. Over 500 pounds, like I just recently walked a mile. Do you really think that someone like, if I was even bigger than that- Hydrate, If I anyone know. was even bigger than that, like that would have been like possible. And I just know mm. firsthand, like looking at myself from any point of view, whether it's my point of view or from someone else's camera or yeah, like, a yeah. mirror, like whatever- makes I say. Maybe I know that I don't look more than what I weigh. The things that I do on a daily basis, I feel like if I weighed even more, like people think that I'm like 600 pounds, like if I was that, I would not be capable of doing the things Thank that you, I do Mark. on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that people- So she's trying to use mental gymnastics here to explain that science is on her side here. No, it isn't. You're quite short and you're quite big. Therefore, you, it would be right to assume, even if you can walk a mile, that your weight is still quite high. Some do believe you're closer to 600. I'm not certain. I just don't believe you're doing the weigh-ins. I really don't believe it. And the only way you're ever going to change that is if you do what um, Hungry Fat Chick does on Nick Ocado's channel, where she legitimately, with Nico's help, gets onto the scales, which, by the way, ter every time she does, because she looks so unsteady on her feet, I get these horrible spikes of, of discomfort in my, my legs, where I feel like she's going to have an accident and get hurt, and I'm going to get a sim like some kind of sympathetic pain in my legs because of it. If you know what I'm talking about, you, you know that kind of pain you get the shivers and, and like the pain in your, like your legs start to get this weird spiking discomfort, like pins and needles, you're anticipating pain. But for some reason, you think you're going to feel it, so you end up feeling some kind of sympathetic version of it. Like that's what I get every time Hungry Fat Chick gets on the scales. I'm genuinely worried she's going to fall over. It's like when my nieces fall on a, uh, on a swing, you know? I feel it. And I, I, I don't know why that is. Maybe I care too much and don't really want to admit it. But in this case, you... Well, actually, you looking up actually helps us here. Uh, you were a known liar. Looking up has helped this situation. People like to say that my weigh-ins are fake because it just creates drama, it creates entertainment, it creates conspiracy, it creates just a way for people to talk, just to create more rumors around my name um, is actually very entertaining for people because and agreed. it just gives uh, people more MJ reasons to talk, yeah, to just like spew their, their nonsense. Like just last year I went to uh, a I, I your, famous I know, I weight loss surgeon's literal doctor's office and stepped on their scale and people were still not believing that way. Fam, we didn't see you stand on the scale. We saw an above view of you, allegedly on the scale. If the camera had then panned down to your feet while you were on the scale, we would agree. And so I think we're past the part of like, oh, we don't trust Amber Lynn. That's why we don't believe her way in. No one trusts you because you're a known liar. It's more so like, hi, I'm bored. I don't have a life. So let's like say, you know, Amber Lynn's faking these way-ins because we have nothing else to talk about. So that's kind of like where I'm at with that. Like, I literally don't care if people don't believe my way in. That's, that's self-evident in the content you produce. You don't care, which is why you produce such bad content. You got 68,000 views on a video where you did sod all, really. I would love to get 68,000 views, by the way, um, on one video where I do essentially sod all. Because I know they're true. Next question is, does it get exhausting constantly thinking about your weight? Yes, because it's like, I think about it regardless of what I'm doing. That's because you put it on a pedestal and have refused to remove it from there. It's a, it's a mental block. I don't, I work out a lot, okay? I don't think about my weight. I know where I'm comfortable, and I don't like to be above it too much, or for too long. During the winter, I'll put on a little bit extra weight because it helps um, with the winter, it helps with the cold, right? But then it goes naturally when I start to um, put more effort in to remove it, because I need to, okay? You have always been, as you said it, 
over 300 pounds since the age of 13. Like, there's, there's something different here. You put it on a pedestal, it's your boogeyman. It is your fear, your irrational one that you can't best, because to do it, something in that head needs to change. Peanut. I think about it when I'm eating, I think about it when I'm showering, I think about it when I'm walking Twinkie. Like, my weight is constantly and consistently on my mind, and yes, it does get very exhausting, because sometimes I just, like, want to exist. And then there are those rare times where I do- You mean like you did in that non-tent you produced the other day? Okay. Ooh, stop thinking about my weight and I just exist as a person, but then immediately someone else has to remind me of my size. You know, you mentioned a minute ago, uh, unironically, that this kind of negativity doesn't bother you, right? Oh, I do like that pause face though. That's the ooh, Nelly. Or Look. what I'm eating, anything like that. So it's like, regardless of it was me thinking about it all the time, it's like other people are going to remind me about my weight. So it's just one of those things where I just got to deal with it. And it's just like, I want to be more than my weight, more than my size. And it just was like, even when I try to be more than that and like different than that and like film different videos and that. And like, I agree all up, 100% that she was active, but she's not active. I don't mean to say everyone like as an absolute, but it just feels like that it's such like a heavy topic and like a hot topic where it's just like. I think you have two options really. One, you actually get offline, get a job and live and don't ever do anything with your weight again. You know, just live for as long as you can. Well, the second, because both of these require some kind of mental change, uh, the second one, you no longer weigh in. Uh, you you stick to a diet, or have someone do it for you, uh, essentially. Um, have someone uh, control your life, which is something you desperately need. Like, no matter what I do, it's just like my weight, my weight, my weight. That's all anyone wants to talk about. The last question is, are you worried? That's because you built your channel as a weight loss uh, a journey and you failed. Yeah. By 155 pounds? Nearly 255 at one point. About all the plus size influencers dying. So I chose this question because this is something I've actually been like. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen a lot of this recently. About... A lot of those that gave TED Talks as well. A lot. Like there was recently a video that I saw online of this person talking about all of the recent plus size influencers that have died. And it is so many. And it's just like, I have never been part of health at every size because I don't believe that. I'm very much like body positivity though. Like love that body physically, like what you look like regardless of your size because everyone is beautiful, but not every size is healthy. And I feel like that's very obvious. <laughs> I don't know how that's not obvious to people. Uh -huh. That being bigger is unhealthy. It does cause so many more health problems statistically. Like everything's questioned this isn't just something that people say to be just like fat phobic because trust me i experience fat phobia fat shaming every single day but when it comes every single day to like health stuff that's not just like fat phobic it's not fat shaming that's just like reality and the truth and that's something that i've always firmly believed there was a minute there years and years ago where i was delusional lynn where it's like doctors would tell you still are delusional lynn tell me you know yeah everything's perfect like your blood results perfect like you're healthy you're just i remember this because i cracked I, I i may have laughed a bit too much I laughed way too hard at that because I thought you have to be so dumb, intentionally, knowingly dumb to willingly and knowingly accept that what they just said was the truth. But then I looked into your eyes and realized there was nothing behind them. Just overweight. Like I would hear those things constantly. That's why uh, Content Constable Part 3 happened. So it fed into Along with her saying my name. But y'all, I tell, like, I'm telling you, your 30s, your brain, like, I think it becomes more clear because I just feel like I think more clear now. And it's just like, the way that I used to think, like, I yeah, rat beef, they enable. Everyone has far too long. These mid 20s is like so different than like the way that I think now. Anyways, I'm totally rambling. But what I'm trying to say, one day I will be a pl Sodding ads. You get socks. I will suffer the ad. Don't worry. I've got you all, boo. I've got you. I suffer these ads so you don't have to. Oi, you said you could do that. Put the vo volume back on. Put the browser back up. Okay. What I'm trying to say, one day I will be Sorry, I had to tab a out. plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy to think about. But reality is, is reality is reality. Um. Well, clearly you got ads on this, Amber. Uh, so you can say these words. I, I'm kind of <laughs> high socks. Oh, yes, she's a lovely hamster, isn't she? was loveliest um hold hold up uh, this seems appropriate um amber um while a morbid subject to talk about um you're never going to be anything but that sadly um you will just be considered another number at that point and there'll be many creators who do just do content on you that are going to be very irritated because they don't have to find someone else they'll probably just pounce on Chantel, and when that's uh, done as well um we'll be lost
now I'm stuttering. I don't even know what I'm saying because the topic of death is one that I don't enjoy. Everyone dies. <laughs> Why are we talking about That's a lie. I'm going to live forever. About this. I hope Skinny crosses. influencers die. We're all going to die, okay? Whether you're an influencer, whether you're a cop, whether you're... There's one very uh, skinny influencer who's still around, though. Just saying. Uh, she's copying Boogie. Yes, indeed. You're a surgeon, whether you're a teacher. Like, it's all going gonna, gonna to happen. But it's just eye-opening to see, like, how many influencers who are plus-size have died due to complications because of their weight. To answer the original question, yes, I am worried. Um, It does worry me. It makes me sad. It makes me scared. And it's just like... Oh, yeah. It sucks. Weight, yeah. I don't know. I understand why it does that. But yeah, it does. We would all have our perfect bodies. We would all have our perfect I love that she's still waffling about mortality. And she does here. The entire video is... Oh, hang on. There's a way in here, though. Don't worry. We've got the way in. First time in my whole life. And... I'm Everyone, look. We get to see a way in. Regret a single moment of it. I literally only... Real moment once. situation type deal. It's a week starting right now. So I'm you just going to There's, There's a hamster. 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 Sorry, I had to do week. that. But anyways, I can ramble on about that forever. Let's just step on the scale. Sorry if that bugs anyone. So when I last looked at her way in, she was 5'10". She's up to 5'10". 15 already. All right, so 515.0. Yeah. Bitch, you're more than 300 pounds heavier than me. Like 320. Like, bitch, please. Up. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. So, as you can see, I did gain weight because last week I was 508.8 .8, and since I was 5 Oh, you were down. Yeah, I knew you were. 15.0 today, I gained 6.2 pounds of I mean, take away fizzy drinks, lots of alcohol when you're out. Junk food, crap, not doing any working out. Who would have believed it? Salt. Also, to maintain that weight, you were eating more in a day. So these videos are an absolute laugh. Next. What yeah. my Valentine got me. Top comment. I highly respect people's privacy. Since when? Sorry. Since when? Uh, you have nails. We get it. At this point, I'm less confused with her having a new bae. I'm more confused with how far she switches her best friend, favorite person. That sort of seems correct. Let's put the captions on, because we need that, and speed her up to 1.5, where she sounds normal. And let's go! Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. So you guys did see me wear this for my way in Today is Wednesday. My friends left Monday night, and I just rested the whole Tuesday. Your girl was pooped, and now it's Wednesday. I feel Fam, that wasn't pooped. That was a sugar high and low. Uh, Juniper did a whole video on how fat and will die young, and our speech was pretty much. Oh, really? That makes sense. I haven't seen Boogie's video. I didn't My know video, that. video, I've been productive. But, you guys, try to guess what is in this heavy, huge box. Food. I'll let you guys think about it while I tell you the story time. So there is someone in my life that I would say is special. Uh-huh. Uh um, in that way. We're not around. Are they a caretaker? Relationship, though, so calm down. But I have been... Well, you do move into love very quickly. You're like Taylor Swift with love. It's just instantaneous and you're together been friends with this person since september and we have become really good friends and like the whole time crushing on each other but we asked each other to be each other's valentines so that was like a cute thingy so i'm going to be referring to her as my valentine because cringe i'm not going to say her name just out of respect but she is one of my very best friends but we like i was going to say low-key like each other but it's high key at this point so i was on the phone with her and we were just talking about my legos and i mentioned a lego just like <laughs> you know, randomly cats, a lego that i'm interested in because we literally <coughs> talk about honestly everything. and legos I is a very that. popular topic because i'm obsessed i mentioned yeah there's like this lego it's like hundreds of dollars though so i'm not gonna like get it anytime soon oh no she didn't do that did she but it's definitely gonna be the next one that i get for myself that's like a bigger purchase and we just like went on to the next conversation and uh -huh. i think like an hour after we got off the phone she messaged me and she was like i have a question and i was like oh my god usually when someone just comes out like that and they're just like i have a question or like i have to talk to you like i immediately get anxiety i'm just like oh my god what is it she literally said let me get you that lego you want and i was like girl so like after saying no after doing the whole like oh my god but it's so expensive i finally gave in and she got me <laughs> oh my god i just can't even believe it for valentine's day she got me this lego that i've been wanting i just can't like how sweet no, no. I, I hope you got something better than a, like a Quizno sandwich. Is that? But another small box came with that. So I'm going to open it first. So I asked my Valentine, I was like, what do you want? I'd rather get her a ukulele and watch her try and play some strings. And like, what do you want me to get you? Like, I feel so just like, I yeah. can't believe it. Like, do I Hoops deserve this? Really she's like, no, if I think of something Not I want, I'll let you know. But I'm over here just like, Slaps. I need to get you something. Like, are you joking? Oh my gosh. In that box was this limited edition. I guess it's like a Valentine's Day little Lego. It is so adorable. And it looks like this. Oh my god. So it's her age range as well. Eight plus. You guys are gonna LOL, but the reason why I'm wearing 
this like a little Valentine's Day outfit is because I knew this was arriving today and I knew that actually today was gonna be the day that I was gonna ask her to be my Valentine. So it all just kind of like worked out perfectly and that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted to have like a little girly pop outfit for that. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but okay. Are you guys ready to see the Lego? Oh my God. I feel like I'm gonna cringe. I cannot believe this is real life right now. I'm so excited. This is heavy. Once you all see this Lego, a lot of you are gonna be very confused, but I love that. I'm just very quirky and confusing. So I am not- No, you're a hoarder. Hoarders like to think they're quirky. You're welcome, Persephone. Thanks for being here. Not like a Batman girly, like you're not gonna see me well, watching well, the Batman movie the toxic time, gossip train. That'd be funny. there are some that? pretty awesome Batman Legos. And the minute I saw the Batcave. Oh, it's the freaking- oh my life. You're not quirky, you're a child. I literally said I had to have it. Like, tell me that isn't freaking stunning. It is cool, like, but- Like, it is the coolest um, looking thing ever, and I'm so excited to build that. And then like have it, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but she's gonna put it somewhere. Like I am obsessed. And then the back cave literally opens up, as you can see here. I am so excited. You guys have no idea. My the only thing cool about that is the Batmobile. I got time, the person who got it for me, like literally, you know. Do we get any high points in this video? I'm like, shocked. I'm just oh, very here. for the connection that we have. I'm skipping over because it's true. I love the aesthetic of a disco ball. So I was like, okay, your girl pop needs one. I don't know if I'm gonna hang it or just like set it. We'll see. I got a new journal. Don't oh, we, we get to see more journals. Oh, how dare we, wait, how dare I read that with my something, 10 memberships? Damn, thank you so much. Oh, how, how dare I read that with my own eyes? Thank you so much for that. That's incredibly generous of you. Damn, that's a lot of memberships. I'll take it. Have more socks, there you go. <laughs> I journal a lot, folks. Um, and it just says cherry, cherry. No, yes. no, you get socks. I suffer ad. It'll be over soon. The pain of this, right, that. Pause. Uh, bar -ra Rosa, chat. Uh, yes, thank you for that. Uh, Creatrix, hi, hope you're well. Uh, thank you again for the uh, memberships. That is actually genuinely awesome. Grifters are goats. Yeah. Oh, hello, that's... Is? There we go. Not that I needed these. There's just like a lot of different weird types of candies at five below and I was so gonna... i'm starting to see where her um weight is uh, it's in this sugar crap not that she gets it good any but i saw boba milk tea jelly bellies so i was like i want to try them realistically this isn't gonna make me gain weight if i try a few so... it's sugar you silly cow what does sugar become again so let's not get mad at the jelly bellies um we could do like a little the only way it doesn't gain you any weight is if it stays within your daily caloric intake level of about 4,000. These tests, there's a mango milk tea, a taro milk tea, a matcha milk tea, strawberry milk tea, and Thai milk tea. They're all packaged individually. I'm not interested in them at all, so I'm gonna skip over that. So I wanted to show you guys one of my new favorite meals that I've been getting lately. Okay, so I get it from a Mediterranean place. This is seasoned beef, that's literally all it is. I'm sure it's delicious. Uh, I'm not gonna fault it. Uh, it looks like something I would probably eat. Uh, but that beef would definitely be uh, medium rare. It wouldn't look like somebody has scooped up for dog turds. That was basically a kebab at one point. And then you get basmati rice, pita bread, and I like to get this hummus. So it's a trio. Is that what that is? I've seen that on a channel that does drain cleaning. Yeah. Usually the drains are blocked. Um, that's what you usually see at the top of it. Yeah. Just, um, just thought I'd share that. Oh, of a spicy hummus, a basil pesto hummus, and just like an original. And I try to just order this by itself, the spicy one, because that's the one that I eat. I don't really eat these two at all. But the spicy one slaps, and you get it with some pita, and it comes with a little extra pita. They do give a lot of meat, though. I usually only finish two of those. That's, I mean, if you don't chew them, they'll go, they'll be able to, you'll be able to eat them again. And as you guys know, I'm not. Oh, thank you, um, Nerfy. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Really a tomato girly, so I don't eat that. Okay, so I'm currently just chilling on my couch, but... Art imitating life. There is like a hot topic that people are talking Not about. Not worth people calories. I agree, Jennifer. Friends come visit me because they weren't in my videos, their voices weren't. And that's because I highly respect people's privacy and they didn't even want their voices in my video. So I had to respect that. And so whenever Do I Do you know why? It's because you are such a toxic individual. You are so toxic. If their voices are recognized, if they are found or they are seen, they are genuinely worried that they're going to get done by you and get doxxed and stalked and harassed. And Nerfy, thank you for the subs. Oh, wait, I got. Get <laughs> wait, wait. Leona, can you get a screenshot of that, please? 
Apparently, I just got gifted a membership to one of my own channels. Honestly. Please get a screenshot of that. Uh, and cre uh, uh, Y3 Hummus. I don't... I don't know. And why three different ones when you could just order three of the same if you don't like the other two? You got the shiny Pokemon. Oh, nice. You did. Yeah, you got me. It's not hollow, though. It's not really worth much. Yeah, I got a membership to myself. Oh, thanks for being here, Joker. I appreciate that. Honestly, that is nuts. Yeah, but you're, you're toxic, Amber. That's why. You are toxic. Y you are. And so your sheeple friends, who I'm sure are delightful people enablers delightful people i'm sure of it if anyone online find out certain forums perhaps they will make their lives hell and they know this even in your nonsense era they're not stupid something it's because either they a weren't talking on, uh, so we had sound. a break in my filming because literally the whole time they were here it, it was just a lot of this like so much Thank laughter you. and just talking and just having a great time um and obviously i didn't film any of that because they just don't want to be in my videos and Hello, I have to that. like in the past i have filmed a lot of people and with some of the, like the community that follows me. Yeah. <laughs> now you're about to admit what I've just said. It makes it to where people don't want to be in my videos anymore. It has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with like the way that a large group of people who watch my videos, the way that they like treat. Oh, and just because of the generosity, um, you get an obligatory. Oh, damn. Rat beef. Thank you so much. Well, you get, you get additional for this. Oh, moist, moist. You're welcome people in my videos like it's just a lot of like doctrine really? or just like really rude rude things are said and rumors etc etc so i'm just gonna like respect people um people uh -huh, uh -huh. they said no and you're salty so next what my crush oh jeez the effort um hello uh, you've missed not much to be honest amber's non-tent is pretty obvious coincident her mental health is better and she's motivated now she has a new girlfriend incoming well yeah l l is it louis beer reviews or lois um LB, LBR, hope you're well. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Um, you say Matt Bad Meg, but people donated for it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Girl, the fact your mental health is the best when you have a new boo is concerning. It is. She goes through this placebo, doesn't she? Stream my speakers. Oh, but why? Continuing. Hello, hello. It is your I'll favorite you. dainty 500 pound girl pop, and welcome to my new weigh in video. You guys are about to be shook. So, today is February 14th, Wednesday, Valentine's Day. So, wait, happy wait, so we got the Valentine's Day video before Valentine's Day. That is why we are wearing some pink earrings. That is why we have a heart. But you did the Valentine's video, like what? Here, so I was debating between these earrings are actually, my yeah, sure, MJ, earrings, or donating over coffee. I chose these, so, anyways, happy freaking Valentine's Day! I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. I personally am. So, I want to start off this video by saying I'm sorry there was no what I ate today on Friday. I just thought it would have been the most pointless video in the whole world. It probably would have been one minute long, and you will find out why later on in this video why I actually did not upload one. But I will say right now that I am sorry for not like being more communicative. Shut up. Um, just the thing for those who don't know, on Twitch we have this thing where if you donate 250 bits, I say the word moist, but in a very overly un unnecessarily sexualized uh, way. It triggers the crap out of Wildling in the chat, aka Leona, aka my unpaid secretary. <laughs> Is that a word? I'm just sorry for not like letting you guys know like, hey, there's not going to be a video on Friday. I will try to- Fish, you broke your news resolution early. We knew you weren't going to post on a regular. To get better at that. So before we get to my weigh-in and what I've been doing this week, et cetera, et cetera, we're going to answer the three questions that you guys asked me. So the first question is, what diet has made you feel the best physically? I was- <laughs> the, the correct answer to this, by the way, um, the, the, the correct answer to this should be none of them because she hasn't succeeded at any of them. She lost 89 LBs and she bragged about it and then put it all back on within a year. Like, Betch, you, you had a cancer scare and I genuinely wished you, you know, obviously I didn't want you to, I mean, you're suffering the slightest, but I genuinely wanted you to pull through and be better because of that scare. And what did you do? You got heavier again. You carried on as if nothing was wrong. I've been <laughs> vegan for probably less than a week, maybe seven days. So maybe a week. Personal best. Oh, that's a good screenshot. Having that. I don't know. It was somewhere around there. It was not long at all, but I just remember feeling literally physically the best. I was lighter on my feet. I literally felt like a feather just floating through the uh -huh. world. Like it made me feel really. Um, oh, for Leona. Oh, moist. You're welcome. And 
said I'll um, go and like that. Yes, there you go. I've got you. You're welcome. Really good, but I wasn't eating the healthiest. Like my first meals in the day were super healthy. Thank you, like MJ. And hummus and things like that. And then after work, I would go home. It's hummus good because I've never had it. Home because this was years ago. This is when I was actually a PCA <laughs> worker. I would go home and I would have tons of white rice and beans and Fritos because Fritos are vegan. And then I would like literally binge on Oreos. But I think something about taking out all of the animal products um, just made me feel better. But see, I I I can understand that. But I find that it doesn't help in the long term satiety unless you are better prepared to deal with the satiety. At your weight, you have no self control of your satiety. So you're always going to struggle. At my weight, I struggle with satiety. And there are ways around it, of course. My go to is granola. That's what I go with. Yeah, uh, you know, like a um, oatmeal raisin cookie, a flapjack, you know, or chocolate because I'm a chocoholic. There's less substance than that. So I want something with weight in it. You, though, are a lot bigger. You need to consider a more sensible diet. Hell, a carnival diet would probably suit you better. It really would. But you are addicted to white rice. You claim it to be anything but half the time, but your portions are akin to that for adults. But I am not a vegan girly pop. It's never going to happen. But regardless, it made me feel... But you were a vegetarian at one point because you were allergic to... A... Physically the best. So the second question is, how do you feel about the success of Tammy Slayton? So I really wanted to choose this question because I feel like people compare us <clears> a lot. That's, kind of That's probably because for the longest time, Tammy Slayton had no control and wasn't doing very well. And now look at her. Everything you could not be. It's just something that happens on the internet. Like, all fat girls get compared, and that's fine. I get it. That's because for the longest time, she was the biggest bitch. Like, Tammy won't deny it. She was. You are all cutesy and lovely on camera, but we all know what you really are behind it because we all heard from Destiny and Necky. Becky, sorry. But Becky. what I feel about her success is happiness. I feel inspired. And, um, she motivates me. Oh, there you go. It popped later. Oh, that's a pause face, isn't it? There it is. We want that. That's the pause face. Oh, that's the pause face. Thank you for the super chat again, by the way. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the person who uh, trans male, uh, female to male, R Rafe? Oh, I've forgotten your name. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with names. Just, that person it's as well. Success within, Stories like, the are hilarious. Uh, it's not like hilarious. They're tragic. Within, like, who she is as a person. Like I've always liked Tammy. Years and years and years ago, you might have heard, you know, troll in, throw <clears> like a shade here and there, but it was never like true, authentic how I felt about her. I've always liked Amy. I've always liked Tammy. When I see someone, regardless of who it is, when I see them lose hundreds, they think of you as a train wreck. Hundreds of pounds. When I see people improve themselves in any sort of way, when I see just success in any way, like I'm genuinely happy for the person. It's just like seeing Tammy grow. Casey, thank you, thank you, MJ. Yeah, it was Casey. I'm so bad with names. Um, just the thing though, yeah, you correctly, Rat Beef, point out the difference. Sorry, the differences that Tammy actually lost the weight. Yes, and she's on freaking oxygen tanks all the time. Look what she did with with what was inhibiting her ability. I know that might, there may have been a shortcut or two involved in this, but you didn't even bother with the shortcuts because you just led everyone led everyone along. Uh, she eat quinoa for a high protein. That'd be yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I like eggs. I think that's a good source of protein. Yeah, hard boiled oh, eggs can be a couple of those. In like every single way, while also going through the death of her husband, like it just is very empowering, and I am just in so much support of her. It's insane. A lot of people think that, I but not. You say it's empowering, but at no point did you think that could motivate me to be better. Like, what's the point of saying it's empowering? When you... Hello, Pifo. Uh, like, I'm honestly. I'm jealous of her. No. I'm looking at what she's doing, and I'm like, damn, I can do that too. She is showing that if she can do it, what does your Valentine slash crush think of your size? So it seems like every single time I'm in a relationship, this question. That's what the tropics do. No. Too. No. You get socks. I'll suffer this so you don't have to. I can't skip it either, by the way, guys. Oh, it's two ads as well. The pain. Oh, agony. Right, it's paused. Okay, cool. Uh, uh chat. And Barosa and socks. Always a question that is asked, which I get it. I understand because it's a thought that I actually have internally. Eggs and bacon. That's a win. I like. That. I'm aware of the thought. Sometimes I'm not aware of the thought. Aunt it's Han. a thought that is. Donate to coffee and I'll put socks on the screen. Always there so I can understand my other people. I'm kidding. <laughs> socks will be on the screen in a minute anyway, you know that. that. Ever You're all good. In, their answers are always the exact same. It's very, I don't see you for your size. I think you are beautiful. Well, they're willing to lie to you. They must want something in return. 
you have an amazing personality and that's exactly what my valentine said this year she says that oh, she give, me a, give me a give me a sub to anne boleyn oh my about. god funny. that would be like, so me physically attractive. that would legitimately it'd be more ski live so on that account that would be so funny to give me a, a membership to her channel of all things honestly hydrate i will stay hydrated kids i'm oh, sorry agony mm. there we go active because my size isn't something that she sees and trust me i get it it's it's a weird thing because it's like how are you do you not see my size like it's it's confusing to me and it's always the same answer from every partner i've been with i almost want to say maybe to an extent i understand because it's like oh, cherry tomatoes in someone, I cherry tomatoes in the oven glaze them lightly with olive oil put some salt and pepper on top honestly best thing ever metal mama sue hope you're well uh hope you're doing fantastic if you're into metal music and that's where your name comes from death to all hello tanya i'm sorry you're having a um terrible day uh but as obviously obligatory here is some socks hope that helped uh pull the chat up and back in this i don't see their flaws i don't see them for their flaw i don't stop loving them for their flaw or whatever it may be or something that they're super insecure about so it's like maybe in the same way that's the way they view me is like i don't see you for that flaw i don't see you for that thing that you're insecure about i don't know but regardless i'm skipping ahead to the way in I some weight so last week 515.0 and today Here's my weigh-in. It is about- So, I still do not believe she- Like, when people on Twitch say I'm not doing press-ups, I do not believe she's doing a weigh-in at all. Valentine's Day, February 14th. So, happy Valentine's Day. So, I got a little sneak peek. This could be a, like, a literal, I took a massive dump because I was constipated the day before kind of thing. I stepped on the scale yesterday, and y'all are about to be shocked. Oh, so maybe po 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 two. That'd be an awesome. Pomegranate okay. balsamic. <laughs> yes. Now we're talking. Five hundred one point two. Oh, 501.2. Oh, and the haters are going to say that is not real. And I am so excited to know that it is. Fam. Fam. Hang on. No, 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 no. Let's just... That's February the 14th, yeah? Okay. This video is February the 12th. Okay. Your Valentine's got you a video uh, thing. When was it from? I wear this for my way in. Today is Wednesday. My friends left. Right. Wednesday. Okay. Let's go back here. I'm going to check my calendar. February the 14th is a Wednesday, right? <laughs> Okay, so her last weigh-in then was February the 7th, which means a video uploaded on the 12th is done five days earlier. Bitch, how lazy are you? I pulled up a calendar on my desktop here. If February the 14th is also on a Wednesday, you did this on either the 31st of January or the 7th of February. February. Like, come on, you bitch. Like, fam. You managed to lose how much in seven days? That's not good, by the way. Over 10 pounds is dangerous for anyone any size. It really is. What? Okay, bloody- Oh, titanium spine. How cool is that? Probably super confused. Like, what is happening? You took a massive dump. Like, you had to. You were constipated. Maybe you were ill, food poisoning. Let me explain. Not only is my mental health right now at the peak that it's been in a very long time, I feel happy. I feel hopeful. I feel motivated, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna get my shit together. Like, I need to get my shit together. Right. Oh, God, you really are going through that delusional Lynn phase again, aren't you? The puppy love. Oh. It's definitely water weight. It's, sorry, it's water weight. Absolutely. So, I went back to something that is what works for me. I'm only eating about once or twice a day. So I know that's like, whoa, that's- That's not a flex. Crazy. But I feel good when I do that. Every time I ate though, it was a takeout meal. So like an example, if I wanted seafood boil, I said, you know what? I'm gonna get seafood boil. I'm gonna allow myself to have this meal. I'm going to enjoy it. But that's uh -huh. all I'm gonna eat for the day. And I uh -huh. literally, physically and mentally feel good doing that. I did go grocery shopping yesterday though, because I know that I can't be eating takeout every single day, even if it is just one meal. Yeah, you can. You were doing it for years, Amber. Custom amber calendar made from screen caps. I probably should, shouldn't I, Grey Pilled? Um, but uh, yeah, and, and Tanya, girl, you a lie. I agree with this 100%. Um, I, I do not uh, care for this nonsense in the slightest. It's an absolute crock of plop. Like, fam, you look the camera dead in the eye, like the lens, you look dead at it and you just lie. Fam, you've dropped 14 pounds. Nothing about that reeks of good. Oh, but it's the honeymoon phase of a new... This person will bring out the best in me. I remember you saying this with YP. And then you put the weight back on and went up higher. Oh, 
So my goal for this week is I'm going to cook. And yeah, all that, that's true. If it's just one meal, I just really love to be the queen of moderation. What can I say? So <laughs> you did this on purpose, aren't you? It's like if I want to order takeout, I want to allow myself to do those things, especially right now, because if I just cold turkey said no more takeout, uh, no more of the foods that you enjoy, then I'm going to fail. I have done that repeatedly. It truly seems like I <laughs> consistently for years, the tune of 250 pounds gained weight at your peak. Lose the most weight when I do this, when I just eat once or twice a day. It is freaking crazy. It makes the most sense, I know, like obviously because I'm eating less. Because if you guys remember, I think it was back in September where I lost like 30 pounds in a month and it's because I was doing that. I was eating only once or twice. Fam, 30 pounds in a month isn't totally unreasonable though, because that'd be on a 30 day month, one pound a day. That's not completely out of, you know, the realm of possibility. Yeah, that is possible, yeah? But your excuse is nonsense. Twice a day. And I felt so good, but then my mental health got really, really bad. And I started eating more again, and then I gained the weight back, and then I haven't been able to get back to that. And then here I am back to that again. And I just, I don't want it to stop now because I feel so freaking good. But that goes back to what I was saying. Like if I did a what I ate today and I only ate one meal, what type of video is that? I mean, I could have turned it into like a eat with me situation, but I was afraid of what you guys- Like a mukbang that would get you views because you may as well do those at this point, Amber. For the views you need to pay your bills, like fan think of that oh and i agree all I, it's not healthy in the slightest but it's not completely out of the ballpark of possibility at that point but with amber it's a crash diet it's not a consistent I, know, diet. I already know the comments if i would have said hey guys this is the only thing i'm eating today i'm gonna film eat with me i already know what everyone would have said they would have been like oh my god this is a mukbang your mukbang era is back oh my god she has no money oh my god look at her eat on camera oh my god she's so off track oh my god she's lying i just don't want to put myself through that but now that i've explained myself a little bit more if you guys do see an eat with me in the future that is also like hey this is what i ate today that is the reason why so I don't know, folks. I feel good. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am literally almost in the 400s, and I am so excited to just finally say goodbye to the 500s. So next week, you guys fam, you're gonna say goodbye to the 500s and greet it back within a month or two. <clears throat> Move on to the next video. Oh, actually, we finished that one. Okay, that would be the um, where is it? That one? Yeah. So we've got one, two, four left. That's it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, right, let's have a look. Cook with me what I ate today. Dating life, I think that works. And my meal plan, which is the last video of the month. Let's go about, go with the, nah, nah. You get socks. There you go. I won't have you suffer this um, nonsense because you deserve better, guys. You deserve better. Okay, browser. Right, here we go. Scroll down. Uh, buying boiled eggs from the grocery store is wild when you're home all day. So I agree with that because if you can just do it yourself, do it yourself. Also, it's good for you. Hydrate. I will. Stay hydrated, kids. Mm. Um, girl, that convo did not happen. And girl, you know damn well Twinkie can outrun you. Stop the slander. Right then. Let's put the captions on. Speed it up to 1.5. Full screen it. Uh, ne. By the way, I'm just going to say, I love that I've got Beard Meets Food down here because he's like 155 pounds and he eats more food. He openly, though, shows what he's eating at least and then loses it all because he's actually good with his weight. Gray hair. So I dyed my hair and I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Like, I wanted like a little gray moment. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I don't know how I feel. Totally joking. Um, I added too much dry shampoo. I was about to say... Attention. So I, I had to brush it out. I was about to say, that I don't believe she had gray hair for a second. She's got insanely good brown hair. Like, that annoys me. Finish getting ready for the day, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so, oh, sorry. And I agree, Metal Mama, okay, so, I agree. Hi, everyone in the future. So what just happened here is I had to click off because the guy that I said hi to, he complimented my hair, asked me what I was doing tonight, looked at the food in my cart, which at that point I was about to check out, but I had like everything in the cart, and he was like, invite me over and I'll cook for you. I was like, oh my God. Obviously I said no, but just had to clarify that that's what happened there. That was weird. Okay, so I'm currently at the grocery store. I'm about to go home, and then we can do like a little grocery haul moment. This is a sneak. So, does anyone actually believe uh, that Anne Boleyn got hit on by a dude? Press 1 if you believe she did. Press 2 if you think she's talking out of her shelf booty. And yes, potatoes. Oh, moist. Peak. Let's hope I even remember to do it once I get home. I hope so. Okay, guys, so I just got back from the good old grocery store. So we're going to do the haul. Okay. Now. So actually, by the time that you guys see this, you guys already know that your girl lost a lot of weight this last week. In my uh -huh. time, it's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which is uh -huh. Wednesday weigh-in. And I have been actually 
on track since my last Wednesday video. I don't know what ignited inside of me, but I've been doing it. I had to know. That's a lot of that's a lot of twos, guys. Uh, Shocked. Cheddar potato bake or oh, potato bake is a banger though, isn't it? So I'm excited to see like tomorrow what like the final Wednesday weigh-in is. So yeah, now that I'm on track, this grocery haul is healthier. So it's funny that I say that as I'm like, hey guys, um, I got some diet Dr Pepper. We're doing well with that diet thing, aren't we? I'm still gonna drink my diet Dr Pepper. I also got some water and some Gatorade Zero. They didn't have my favorite kind, so. I they don't get it. Order it online with Amazon. You like your Amazon hauls. Kind of just had to stick to the orange. So I'm just gonna put all my bags up here real quick. So as I haul, I'm just gonna put away. So I got three ground turkeys. So that's all that's in this bag. I got a massive thing of broccoli and a bag of jasmine rice because I recently bought a rice. Is that because oh, right the rice cooker things are good there? But no, the, the the reason you bought the bag is because then when people judge your portion size because you did it in the past with a box and you said oh it just feeds two and it's like it feeds four. Bitch. <laughs> because when me and my ex broke up, we split. Rice cookers are handy for those who are too dumb to know to cook rice. Some things, and I gave her the rice cookers. I didn't think I was ever going to use it, but your girl wants to use it, so I bought a new one. I got three things of these hotty bites. It's just oh snap pickles. I got some sour cream and cottage the cheese. Ranch packet, restaurant style. No? Because your girl's okay. about to mix these two together. Also got two okay. packets of just low sodium taco seasoning. Got some frozen mango chunks and frozen pineapple chunks for smoothies. I bought a ton of hard boiled eggs. Fam, you should just buy eggs, eggs, and do it yourself. That's beyond. I mean, I don't understand it because, by the way, two eggs is like 130 calories. It's a protein part. It's very good protein, actually. But at the same time, fam, just do it yourself. It's you're not doing anything for the rest of the day. Like honestly, just I'd boil them myself. I I eat hard boiled eggs, so um, boiling them is easier. And also, it's not hard to get the uh, shell off anyway. That are already cooked. I got my fave mini sweet peppers and some carrots. I got some rotisserie chicken lunch meat, Oscar Mayer, my fave. Two cans of just some corn. I like a little sweet snack. I love chocolate. Come for me. I know it's gonna happen. Grocery hauls, people come for me. But I'm the queen of moderation. Right. Can remember? I do want you guys to know that I'm the queen of like moderation. I lost 89. Oh my God, you're, mo you're, you're playing all my life. You're memeing it. I love it. I actually do like that. Pounds before. I still want some chocolate. So these are just 100 calorie chocolate vanilla um like hoodies. Fresh eggs are best. I agree, grey pilled. Um, I am. A, I love omelette. Um, I will do an omelette with uh, onion. Um, I'll caramel uh, caramelize the um, onions first. I will add some peppers. I will then add some mushrooms. I'll then add the omelette over the top. Put some cheese in there as well. A little bit of cheese, not too much. Um, just to add a bit of strength and bulk. And it's a three egg omelette. And that's my meal. It's awesome. Some bacon bits sometimes find their way in there as well. But you have to cook those in there before you put the egg in and they're so good. I got a lemon pepper rotisserie chicken, some premier protein, which this is my favorite flavor, which is the chocolate peanut butter. Last but not least, we got some bounty, which is the best. Oh, you got yourself a, a prop, your size loo roll. Good to know. Ever. Fight me. Grocery haul is now complete. How long was that? That was, okay. Three minutes, 43 seconds for one day. So it's the next day. Hello, hello. So it is actually Valentine's Day night. Like it's fixing to be midnight right now. And I just want to say happy Valentine's Day. We did go to bingo and I did win. By the way, people ask all the time, like, do you win at bingo? I do. It's not every time. Tonight I won 50. I think it was like... So I'm making food for everyone. I do cook well. I, I can cook for lots of people as well. I'm very comfortable in a kitchen. Um, yeah, you're all welcome over for breakfast. Uh, I live in tubby land. <laughs> like last week or the week before, I won like 100 or something. Whenever I do get a bingo though, like I'll really quickly be like, mom, I'm gonna go You're bingo. welcome, like, Malfolium. Me, like, I'm so shy. I don't know what it is. Like in certain situations, I'm literally so shy and I feel like paralyzed. I cannot say bingo. Even if it was like for a thousand dollars, I like wouldn't be able to say it. So my mom has to say it. Fam, <clears throat> I, I'm not the most confident in a social setting, but if a money is on, money's up for grabs and I get a chance to win it, uh, bingo is coming out of my mouth and it's gonna be said louder and faster than anyone else. I mean, it's just a random fact. And also something else that I wanna talk about is I have a friend and she said it's totally fine if I talk about this and like say her name and stuff. Her name is Alexis. I have been friends with her since- Isn't that like your ex? Since summertime. And her and I have gotten really close, like best friend territory. Like oh. always on the phone, we're always there for each other. Oh. And a lot of people like assume that her and I were dating or are dating. No, that never happened. Her and I are literally just strictly friends. But there's like a lot of rumors going around that we're dating. I don't even know how y'all found her. I We don't know, but I personally wanted to clear this up just because I don't want you guys thinking that she's my Valentine because it's not her. And I know a lot- No, no, there's there's many girls on the go, Amber. We all know this. You're gonna be like, oh my God, this is just like Amberlynn lying so we don't find out. Literally just happened right now. 
speaking of my valentine um a lot of people are like oh my god is she like moving too quick no this is actually just something new that i decided to tell you guys about i have been talking to her for almost six months now so we've been in each other's lives for half of a year this is like very much behind the scenes and i just wanted to like share it with you guys because i was like so happy and she said i could and i don't know it's just like really good vibes i'm just feeling really happy and i think that's like what's important and i just kind of wanted to share that side of my life with you guys but i thought you were doing well on your own amber putting on weight because it's something that I haven't been sharing with you guys. But yeah, definitely not moving fast. This is actually the slowest I have <laughs> She and ever I, you are correct there, Poe too. With Sorry, someone that I'm correct So props to me for doing that. Like, this girl pop taking it slow. Oh, it's, hang on. It's been three minutes. So it's the next day. Hello, hello, beautiful people. So today we have a What I Ate Today video. So if you guys have not seen my What I Ate Today video, definitely go watch that. It was the last video. By the way, we do have a rice cooker in our house as well. While I may dunk on people that use it, uh, it's only because I generally get distracted but still get it right because uh yeah you know the whole i know how to cook thing comes in handy i'm not dunking again by the way i'm just being a dickhead you know that orla and anyone else that might think i'm being a dickhead i'm just a dickhead that i uploaded for you guys so this is the filming that i did for this day so now let's move on to the next day love you wait well wait you uploaded less than 30 seconds of a day hello hello okay so there's a few things I'm trying to decide now on. I'm done with this video. We're going to the next one. You don't, you, no, we're going to go to this one. The last Today. video of the month. Right? Oh, by the way, last that video has 5.7k downvotes. Sorry. Yeah, that it does. Right, this one has 2.8k downvotes. The views are pretty consistent for Amber this month. Like, hovering around 50k. Yeah? The only time it went up is here and here. When she put more effort in. The moment the view, the time went down, the views went with it. Uh, this one, yes. Top comments. It's not li I'm not a liquid girly. My brother in Christ, you're a human being. We require water to survive. Well, most of our body is water. Uh, a Brit being a dick say, and so well, that is true. Yes. Uh, I got the caps voice. You're welcome. Goral, where's the water? Drink a tall glass of it first thing in the morning before coffee, even. It's not just about getting liquid. It matters what's in the liquid. The electrolytes in those Gatorades are for athletes who train to ret need to retain liquid. You know, with your lipid lipidemia, water retention is the last thing you need. Just drink water for love of orange chicken. <laughs> I like this comment. Yeah, I like them. There you go. Say you drink water. Yeah, sorry. Drink water. And yes, they're telling us drink. Well, I only highlighted water. Yes. Hey, we're going to do a what I ate today video. So in this video, I am going to show you like the time. Say I'm like what time it is when I eat each meal because people have requested that I do that. So currently my microwave says it's 8.17. My stove says it's 12.35. Both of those are incorrect. Um, it is 10 a.m. in the morning. I woke up two hours ago. My alarm was set for 8 a.m. And the first thing I- I've had tubby custard before, Ola. Used to sell it in, um, it was like a, a Froobs thing. Hot, like a yogurt pop made by Froobs, I think it was. It was nice. To have is some coffee Strawberry flavor, so I think. Let's get into it. First things first, we need a glass. And the tubby toast look like almond rounds. Straw, of course. So I got some Starbucks iced coffee. This is Blonde Roast on Sweetened Black. Oh, Blonde. The one that's really, really, really high caffeine. Yeah, that's good for your anxiety. I have some Coffee Mate. This is Zero Sugar French Vanilla Creamer. <laughs> Carry on. I also have some sugar-free French Vanilla flavoring. And I have Splenda uh, okay. made with Stevia. So I do not have any ice, so we will not be using ice. I don't know about y'all, but my favorite ice ever is from Sonic. Like, literally the best. So literally. I'm caffeine sensitive. I've gotten better with that recently, so I'm not trying to have- She is trolling. Blondes are renowned for being high in caffeine. We've covered this before. I have, like, a ton of uh, coffee over here, so that's why I didn't fill it all the way up. Plus, if I had ice, it would be filled up to the top. I'm gonna add a little bit of this now. Whoop, cut. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the stevia now. But why? Coffee is complete. Coffee, I'm just going to say now, to those who drink coffee with sugar, um, it kind of, to me, defeats part of the point of coffee because it does actually negate some of the effects of the coffee. I'm a bit, I, when I drank coffee, I'm a bit of a um, uh, snob. Uh, I never had it with sugar because it, to me, countered the potency of the caffeine. The sugar kind of brought me down, which I didn't appreciate. Now we're going to do a taste test. That's good. I just remember like when I used to drink coffee when I first woke up in the morning, like it would help my appetite a lot. Plus without having to state the obvious, it did give me some energy. So I'm going to drink this and I'll see you guys for my first meal when I have it. Okay guys. It's the next day. So it's about 2.20, I'm about to have a water. I made a smoothie. So we have a smoothie. It's up to here, as you can see. Still haven't even tried it. And I made some scrambled eggs. So here you- Eggs? 
Did you use the protein ones and just smash them up with your hand and then put some like cottage cheese over the top and korma powder? You can watch me do that. So I'm gonna have three eggs. You're not allergic to my see. Let me wash my hands real quick. Uh huh. So in the bowl, I'm just gonna add one if you think she licked her fingers and two if you think she licked her fingers. Add pepper, some garlic salt. Onion salt, onion powder maybe? And whisk. Alright, that is finished. So to the pan, I'm just going to add some of this olive oil pan. I'm going to Fair add enough. my eggs. So while my eggs are cooking, I'm going to make a smoothie. This is literally straight to the point. Probably not going to be for everyone. So I'm going to add some of this frozen strawberry and bananas. This is very exciting. What's the most viewed part? Oh, there isn't one. This video does not have a most viewed part. And then I'm going to add this Premier Protein. It is in the chocolate peanut butter, which is Interesting. Okay, this is exciting, by the way. Okay, so smoothie is done. You see, I did for alcohol, Orla. I don't. I point to my beard and go, are you sure you... And then I use my... I've got quite a deep voice. I reply... I have to say to anyone that looks at me and goes, hmm, I'm like... At 40, hairline is not... Mine, I've got a slightly receded hairline. I'm like... You don't find guys younger with hairline that's receded. Uh, and also, beard, seriously. Second, my voice is deeper than most of the guys in this building. And some men, maybe a few of the women too. Now I'm going it's to the voice and the beard that does it, really. I think I'm going to go for this one, because she is so cute. Order. Oh, that sounds... The uh, eggs are also complete, and I'm going to be taking some tapatio and adding that to my eggs. Okay, so now that we are all caught up, it's time to do a taste test. Let's try the smoothie. Invoices from no. You get socks. <coughs> I'm gonna guess she says it slaps. I right, will go back slightly, pull up you guys that, and then you guys, and then here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I'm also oh, okay. She didn't say it slaps. Today besides the coffee, which I know a lot of people are gonna be mad. About. Coffee's really good for hydration. About that because you guys are telling me I need to be drinking more liquid. I just I'm not a liquid girly. I mean water. Yeah, you are. Shut up. I'm sorry. How many videos ago was it when you were drinking all day? Betch, you blame your weight gain on water weight. Like, fam, that's the look of someone who's stupid and confused because of their stupidity. And yes, socks. She's awesome. I mean, I am, but I'm telling you, I can go hours and hours and hours without drinking a single drop of anything. Anyways, let's chat down on some freaking eggs. Hmm. Tapatio on eggs. See, I'm 38, uh, Sue, so, um, and I don't give a shit because I'm 38. I'm not trying to impress people. I, I like my hair the way it is. Um, death roll but metal, so obviously uh, I probably should grow it out again, maybe. Maybe. It hits different. And yes, every time I eat an egg, people are like, aren't you allergic? No, not allergic. Yeah, you said you were. I do have an egg intolerance, which actually... So... A bit of an allergy then, really, isn't it? It runs in the family because my aunt and my mom also suffer with the same thing. Certain ways that eggs are cooked, the protein just does a weird situation type deal. And scrambled eggs actually... Situation type deal, huh? That's the look of someone looking to the side because they're trying to speak intelligently and they're still speaking absolute bullshit. Hi, Michael. It used to make me super sick. Like, it would literally feel like I had the flu for a solid, like, three hours after I would eat scrambled eggs. And it's weird. As I've gotten older, it's gotten better. There was, like, a moment in my... Yeah, it turns out, um... Turns out our, um... Our lies get forgotten. Late 20s, where it was like the worst ever. Um, but it's actually gotten a lot better. So in the same way that people are like lactose intolerant. How old is she now? want to eat some ice cream here and there. It's kind of like the same thing. Like, if I'm eating it and I feel sick afterwards, it's my fault. Hey guys, so it is 7 p.m. I have my next meal going. I have some rice going. And some salmon going. And some broccoli pretty much done over here. I'm going to get this out of the water real quick so it's not cooked. just going to say, I would never do broccoli like that. i do it in the steamer. Um, but only because I think boiling just... Right, takes everything out of it. Too much. Even though I'm not gonna lie to you, I like broccoli in all forms, even if it is super soft. But today, that's wrong. Okay, we want her a little crunchy, so I'm gonna take her out now. So I'm going to do the temperature on my salmon because I need that cooked way more than it even is supposed to be. That's just the way that I do things around here. I want to oh. see the portion size of your rice because that rice cooker looked very full. Okay, it's going up to 180. Okay, she's about done. To film, I literally set you guys on top of Bounty. The saga series I'm obsessed with, and I use my little tripod right here. Right now, you guys are currently just in a little... I like in the... Just a quick thing, if anyone's noticing here. In the corner here, a picture 
of her and someone, and she's blanked out a part of the. Per oh, you can't see it. Hang on. Um, hang on. There. Right here. This video here. The picture in the corner. There. That picture fascinates me because she's blanked out somebody in the corner. I like that. She actually made an effort there as well. You guys are currently just in a little cabinet type deal. Okay, so let's make my bowl. So first things first, which I did add some chicken bouillon to the rice to give it some flavor. Next uh -huh. is my piece of salmon. And now my broccoli. Because I like it spicy, I'm going to add a little bit of sriracha. I'm also going to add... You can make it spicy. Actually put some spice on it then. Just a few pieces of jalapeno on the side. Pickled jalapeno. So there it is. Please. That is my meal for now. Right. Now, that doesn't look horrendous, does it? Minus the sriracha being an abomination. It's not a spicy sauce on the slightest. It's water. So let's do a taste test. I have some of the rice and salmon. Mmm. That's so good. I'm allergic to shellfish and mustard, MJ. I can't touch either. Uh, or I have serious issues. Shellfish causes me to... Uh, well, become uh, look like a demon of Nurgle. Uh, skin starts tearing and it gets quite bad. Uh, the mustard one causes my throat to close up, which is quite unfortunate because mustard is delicious. Well, proper mustard, anyway. If salmon is cooked correctly and seasoned to my liking, it is probably... So I'm going to cook it in the microwave. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because I'm kind of curious. It says put a slit in it. I don't do that. I usually just open it like that and call it a day. Four and a half minutes. In we go. So, while so out of curiosity... Who thinks that Amber just went from meal to meal to meal in one go? Because then she could have the rest of the day do whatever she wanted. Doing its thing, I also add two ingredients to it. I add the tiniest bit of soy sauce and I add a little bit of sriracha for some spice. And obviously your girl needs something to drink. I'm going to have a Gatorade. This is the blue one. The Leisure Freeze. And I know I recently talked about the whole mold and Gatorade. So let's talk about that some more because I did some more research. So on the bottom here, which I have never seen it with this, with this flavor Gatorade. I have only ever seen it with the orange one. But down here, there's like a white substance on the inside of this and it actually is mold and Gatorade company even confirmed that it is mold but it is edible so <laughs> what there's like actual hey look there's some good mold out there you ever have ever had cheese like fam articles about it and stuff so if you guys want to go read that go read that because I read a lot about it then we all heard me talk about the world's moldiest cheese is also the world's creamiest like honestly you get through that mold and you just eat that and it's actually really apparently quite good very potent on the nose though about it y'all were sending me articles but then if you're dumb enough to drink gatorade and you know wonder why people constantly say you drink more water not liquids just water um chances are natural selection is just playing a game with you and instagram and it's very fascinating how gatorade is like yeah i have mold in my drinks go ahead and drink it you'll be fine nope as i take a drink of gatorade but okay, <coughs> this one doesn't have it okay so oh, good on you mj you. it is Absolutely. freaking tasty it's like one of my favorites ever 10 out of 10 folks so I just sat down to eat the Amy's tea dinner and I forgot to tell you guys what time it is. It is 11 p.m. Okay, guys, so it is later at night. I don't plan on eating anything else. Still things to drink. But that's not to say she won't because binge eating disorder. I do plan on drinking more water, so I'll probably have like another water bottle. But besides that, that is everything that will be going into my mouth besides like a toothbrush. So I'm very proud of today. I made great decisions. I X. really want to eat similarly to this every single no day. Way so in, this though. is kind of like a meal plan for me. Okay, so I'm going to stop with this because we're not getting any more weigh-ins. So far in the month of March, she has released two, two videos in eight days. Uh, we're not going to be covering this just yet, just to be clear. Her views are still absolutely dog plop. Uh, I'll bring. I'll put, put the hamster on the screen to finish, because I think you'll deserve a bit of socks. She is uh, the most glorious of hamsters ever to exist. I'll get rid of that. Uh, move Discord over, because I don't need that anymore. Uh, put all that over there. If anyone has any questions before we finish, uh, do feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. Um, I am quite happy to... Um, answer any questions I might be able to give an answer to anyway. Um, yeah, I, I'm quite fascinated by the level of non-tent and stupid we're dealing with again this month. Because uh, she's still desperately trying to fob it off as content, but she's doing nothing. And then she tries to show some self-awareness by saying, oh, but the people involved in my life don't want to be in content. So, well, of course they don't. Okay. Oh, but you're seeing someone. You're losing weight. Oh, congratulations. You lost 14 pounds in seven days. Anything over five is a concern, to be honest. You, I mean, in a, a legit sense, because five seems plausible. Fourteen seems like somebody who got a bit too excited and giddy and then had one hell of a bowel movement. Um, why the hell is text-to-speech doubling what I say? I only see one on my end, I'm afraid. Uh, if you insist on uh, broiling out of everything, you have full power. Yeah, I'm with you on that, uh, Creatrix. 
Um, yeah, I only see one end on mice, I think. And yeah, I knew you talked about all of that, just to be clear. Um, okay, well, I'm going to finish here because I need to rest. I've been recovering from a small bout of food poisoning and I need a good night's sleep. Um, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, we are going to be back next week with Chantel's February. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you all there. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. Thank you for the um, for the memberships and for the donations. I genuinely am so grateful for that. I'll see you soon. Ta-ta, everyone.